Hi there, welcome to the Perfume Experience. My name is Rodney. Today we are back again with another video. So today I'm going to do a review for a collection of fragrances from the House of Sentinelli. I'm talking about the Sacred Collection from the House of Sentinelli, which is a private blend. And uh, on that note, let's get started. <music> So the Sacred Collection of Scented Relic has got six fragrances. Now the why it's called Sacred is because it takes in uh, nuances of geometry, it takes in nuances of creation of a universe and creativity of life and all of that aspects and you can actually read about it on the website and that gives you why it's called Sacred. But uh, there's another element to it as well which is basically fragrances are in generally divided into two houses, right? You have designer houses and you have niche houses. Now, designer fragrances generally use synthetic uh, aspects or synthetic compounds to make their fragrances, whereas niche houses generally use natural materials. The idea behind creating sacred collection has been to bring in designer elements like the synthetic compounds and also some elements from the niche houses bringing in natural elements, natural compounds to make fragrances and that's how all of these six fragrances are uh, created. So all of them have got uh, some elements of natural compounds and some synthetic elements in their uh, you know creativity in terms of their scent profile, in terms of their notes and that's how uh, SK has gone about creating this particular fragrances. Now the first one on this particular list is called Flower of Life. Okay now Flower of Life has got things like lavender, it's got coriander, it's got neroli, it's got Moroccan rose, jasmine, uh, it's got rosemary, then in the base it's got uh, geranium, amber and it's also got rosewood, right? Now when you look at that particular scent profile, you immediately recognize that this is a fresh floral fissure. Now when you put this particular fragrance on and you take a whiff, you kind of uh, get a very nice strong blast of that uh, lavender and that note of neroli okay now immediately after that you can feel uh, hints of jasmine and rose right in between but then the dry down is where this fragrance really opens up that rosewood and that rosewood along with that ambriness has got a bit of sweet element okay why we say that it's got musk it's got amber it's got that sweet element and because of this floral notes it really opens up very well now this is a very versatile fragrance, this is a fragrance that you will like and you will absolutely you know, wear it at any occasion. Okay, It's a very unisex fragrance as well, so for office wear, for any casual wear, it's a very very nice particular uh, fragrance with that scent profile of that floral notes, it really goes a long way. Now in terms of projection, all of them do well, so you get easily about 3 feet of projection and lasts at least 6 hours on skin, okay? It lasts even more on apparel, so for example, I tried, um, uh, yesterday I tried one of the other fragrances and it is on my skin, on my apparel for more than 18-20 hours, so it kind of you know, remains on your clothes for a long time. But in terms of scent profile, this is a very beautiful uh, fragrance to go for if you want a fragrance which has got good elements of floral notes. Um, not the typical uh, lily of the valley, that kind of floral notes, not white flowers or yellow flowers, but in terms to say more of a rose, more of jasmine and a little bit of that lavender to get that powdery vibe and a little bit of uh, musk as well. And then if you look at rosewood, it gives you a very nice woody, uh, you know, base note to it. This is a beautiful fragrance to consider. This is Flower of Life, one of the first fragrances in the list of six. So the next one on this particular list is called Metatron's Cube. Now Metatron's Cube is again a floral, fresh, sweet kind of a fragrance. Now this particular fragrance opens up with uh, citrus elements like Sicilian lemon, it's got mandarin orange, it's got mint, it's got geranium. Then it's got the same Moroccan rose and uh, uh, jasmine again. And then, But in the base note, this one has got more woody notes. It's got sandalwood, it's got cedarwood and it's also got wood, right? Now you can also make out that in terms of color also, if you look at the color element, it's got a little bit of a brownish color so that because of the wood probably uh, you know you get that color now but on this particular fragrance what i really like is the top notes are basically made up of natural elements okay the citrus a citrus note now when this particular fragrance opens up you immediately get that vibe of citrus elements like the lemon and you get this uh, you know mandarin orange straight up now along with that you also get a lot of those um, you know woody elements as well but and you can also kind of you know get a hint of that wood now the wood is there in the background, it's there very mellow, very beautiful, but it plays a very dense uh, volume to it, it gives a nice texture to it, it gives a rich, uh, you know, fragrance uh, element to it and makes that, just, you know, a nice creamy kind of a texture. So you have the citrus elements right at the top and then you have this beautiful creamy structure of wood and cedar wood and sandalwood right at the base. So that sandalwood along with wood gives you that very creamy, nice, mild element to it, which makes this particular fragrance very, very nice. Now, 
this fragrance although it's got citrus element and you know it's got some floral elements as well and because of the wood i would say this is an excellent wear for evening and indoors so if you're in office and you know you you want to wear something a little different along with that citrus element but you also want that creamy texture of sandalwood then you can definitely consider metatron's cube uh, this is an ideal evening wear uh, but i would also say this is good for an indoor office uh, you know use in terms of projectivity and scent profile projectivity it will definitely give you about 3 feet easily and uh, uh, last as equal to about 6 hours easy on your skin now um, in terms of the wear both of them can wear it can it's a very good unisex fragrance both of you can wear this easily uh, so this is a good one so this has got a very nice name i wish this were there were artwork on this series it would have been really really nice this is called metatron's cube so the next fragrance on this particular list is called vector equilibrium and this is a very beautiful fragrance which has got very different notes okay now the first thing that you kind of need to understand on this particular fragrance is that if the notes are all towards you know uh, animalic uh, spicy musky kind of a note profile because it has got a lot of musk elements and the first element that you will get on this particular fragrance is civet musk then you have castrum musk then you have white musk then you have a lot of elements like pepper corn you have clove you have cinnamon and then you have also have amber and then you also have ambroxan okay now all of this while it sounds like you know because of all of those white musk castrum musk and you if you look at civet musk which is all animalic notes but surprisingly when the scent profile is kind of you know uh, works though it's got spice elements and musk element for me i felt this was a lovely fragrance that is created okay now this particular fragrance has got a very very unique body and now this particular fragrance is definitely not for everybody because when you think about uh, fragrance elements like uh, civet musk and castrum musk and white musk it's it's more of a musky kind of a fragrance but then that musky can be you know very uh, off putting but this is not that case though this has got animalic and spicy elements this is a fragrance which you will actually kind of like a lot if you like musk as a note okay so though it's got elements of uh, you know uh, amber it's got ambroxan and that ambroxan actually makes this for a very vibrant very fresh kind of a fragrance uh, in in a way so sort to of say to say fresh i'm not saying that it's the citrus type of fresh but the kind of freshness that you get when you put on something where you feel like you know, you've got some energy up that's the kind of element that you get on this particular fragrance now like i said this is something for somebody who has got an acquired taste for something like musk and they will kind of like this kind of a note you can actually wear this towards the evening hours or during a casual wear and or if you're looking to wear something on a leather jacket kind of thing then i think this particular scent would really work out well this is also a unisex scent okay although this has got a lot of animalic notes and you know a lot of musk note i think a woman also can carry it very very well it's a, a fragrance for a party it's a fragrance for a dark occasion that kind of a thing you know this goes really really well so uh, in my opinion though this notes when you talk about um, castrum musk and you know civet you always think you oh this can be off putting this type, this could be something not for everyone type uh, while that is probably the case to a great extent i think this is a fragrance that is very well created by sk and i kind of really admire uh, the way this is created so the first time you try this you might not like it give it a couple of wears and you will absolutely kind of like the kind of scent profile that's created on this this is vector equilibrium uh, a basically a fragrance that is made up of a lot of musk and you know a lot of spice elements and animalic elements but the scent profile it has got a very beautiful element of musk in it and you will actually like it for evening wears So the next one on this list is called Trinity Knot and look at the juice color on this one it's a dark brown juice color and by the scent profile of the description this is a woody leathery a uh, smoky kind of a fragrance and right at the top the set notes on this one is got leather it's got oud and it's got coffee and then in the, in the second part of the notes it's got things like sandalwood it's got uh, then it's got things like tonka beans vanilla beans it's got amber all of that element making this a very complicated kind of a fragrance now like i said the entire scent profile of uh, the secret collection has been to mix designer elements along with some niche elements now on this particular fragrance because of those notes of uh, you know coffee and then if you think about the amber tonka beans and all of that along with birch and all that it kind of makes up for a very unique kind of a fragrance now when i first put this on i was thinking that okay maybe this is something that i will not like 
okay but then uh, i tried it a few times and i absolutely enjoy this particular fragrance because right at the top this will give you that hint of leather okay and you get that oud right at the top it's like as if it hits you on your face that kind of a thing with that oud and that uh, you know leather note but then the dry down starts along with the coffee note really makes up for something wonderful on this particular fragrance now in terms of performance you easily get about 6 7 hours on this one and as the dry down happens the coffee note really starts to take over okay now the coffee takes over and then in the base you also have things like tonka beans and vanilla so you have that sweet element that comes up along with birch and amber that makes up for a wonderful fragrance this is a particular fragrance that you should try especially if you want to try a wood fragrance okay although this has got synthetic wood on it but i think the way the wood and the way the uh, leather note and the smoky elements work on this particular fragrance it makes for a wonderful fragrance to try especially for evening wears or for a time when you really want to actually try something a uh, wood kind of a fragrance along with a bit of coffee element because the coffee element also is a little tart and you know it kind of goes into the gourmand line so along with those vanilla beans and tonka beans also it, you know leads that same way so the dry down really becomes a nice element and i'm not too sure why there is not much you know discussion about these particular fragrances but this is a really a surprise and a very good blend at that this is trinity not a fragrance for somebody who wants to you know get into oud or who wants to like oud or wants to try leather because generally oud and leather are fragrance notes which are at the base right at the bottom or in the middle but on this particular one because they are at the top you kind of experience them straight off and then you have the coffee element that kind of works along and then you have the vanilla elements which will make it for a very beautiful composition so you should definitely try this particular fragrance this is called trinity not from the house of sentinel the next one on this particular list is called markaba and this according to me was a hidden gem on this particular collection okay now for some reason i think nobody talks about one of these collections of these fragrances this one i don't know how it's been under the radar for so long this is a fragrance which has got fresh floral woody tones Uh, right at the top you have a lot of citrus elements like you know bergamot you have uh, pineapple you have grapefruit you have tangerine then in the middle you have some floral notes like jasmine rose and all of that then at the base you have things like sugarcane vanilla amroxin you have oak moss and you have musk this is a fantastic fragrance and i kind of you know absolutely love this fragrance i have tried this like two three times uh, you know whenever i have gone for and this is a lovely lovely fragrance Uh, the way this particular fragrance opens up that freshness that it comes up with all the citrus element along with that sweetness and somewhere you can feel that hint of that sugarcane along with that vanilla and that musk and you know oak moss you can really kind of you know uh, smell that so for me this was a fragrance which really opens up very well and it kind of you know goes really good so this is one of those fragrances that you can just blind by wear it for office and any occasion this is a fragrance which has got a sweet element to it now when i say that because of those citrus elements and pineapple and tangerine which is all of the citrus and pineapple kind of a note that you get and a bit of those jasmine and rose notes that are there in the middle and then again at the end like i said because you have oak moss you have birch and you have musk it lightens up in a very nice way that woody tone is actually not because of any wood uh, wood based you know notes as such but then that woodiness happens because of the amalgamation of all of these notes coming together and i absolutely enjoy this particular fragrance this is lovely wear for casual unisex outdoor any time of the day you can wear this particular fragrance in my opinion this is a good 365 days fragrance okay this is markaba and uh, you should definitely explore this one Uh, while all of them have been good in their own ways they have some element to them like you know uh, if you look at um, vector equilibrium it's got a element of uh, muskiness you know spice animalic if you look at trinity nod it's got uh, you know oud and it's got coffee but then this is uh, because of the citrus elements and because of that oak moss and birch this makes up for a wonderful fragrance and i absolutely enjoy wearing that and i think the sugarcane note really makes up for something on this particular fragrance something to really look forward for wearing it all the time a casual beautiful fragrance. fragrance this is called markaba so the next one on this particular list is called fruit of life now fruit of life i think is the hero of this particular collection of six fragrances now this can be described as a fresh fruity sweet woody kind of a fragrance now this is a refreshing fragrance because of the notes now this has got a lot of uh, you know citrus notes in the top it's got grapefruit it's got watermelon it's got tangerine uh, it's got um, uh, amroxin it's got uh, marine notes then it's got woody notes like sandalwood uh, it's got cedar wood and all of that and it's got a little bit of a floral elements like jasmine as well but because of all of those elements when you put this on like you know i've worn this like a couple of times and i absolutely enjoyed it but the first time that i wore this 
I will not forget. In 10 minutes of me wearing this particular fragrance, I, and I came from the wash restroom to the floor and people on the floor kind of knew that I had put on a fragrance and people were asking what have you put on and people can easily recognize this fragrance from 6 feet to 7 feet ahead. You know, so that is the kind of projection you get and the uh, lasting on this is easily about 8 hours, so very good lasting. Beautiful scent profile and because of those citrus elements along with this ambroxin and you know marine note and along with the woody note, this makes for a very beautiful, sweet, refreshing kind of a fragrance that you can wear all throughout the year. Now, unlike Markaba, this is a fantastic fragrance. Now, Markaba has got a little bit of floral element, but this has got more fresher, more woody notes to it and a little bit of that musky element gives you that nice, refreshing vibe, the 365 days fragrance and lasts really long. Now for me, I was getting a little bit of a hint of uh, you know magic mushroom on this particular one, but that could be because of the blend, the way uh, in which SK has explained that this is a combination of designer element and niche fragrances. So that could be one of the reasons, but I thoroughly enjoyed wearing Fruit of Life. This is a stellar fragrance from this house. You should definitely consider this if you want to explore any of these in this list. This, is, this has to be definitely there in your collection uh, when you try. Okay, so that way, this is my review about Fruit of Life. Now, all of the reviews that I do, uh, these are not paid reviews. These are samples that I get and try them and I test them and I see if I like this kind of fragrances, then I bring them to you because the idea is to bring, uh, you know, something very nice for less. And I think these are really beautiful creations from a private blend point of view because generally we've seen uh, synthetic elements used in most of the private blends. This is a place where you're seeing natural elements and synthetic elements come together to create some fragrances. And I think SK has done a fantastic job and I think there is... Uh, there should be more word spread around some of the fragrances like Fruit of Life and Markaba and Trinity Not, uh, we Vector Equilibrium for that matter. So, you know, a very beautiful collection of fragrances to try. Now, if you like the content that I bring, please like and subscribe. There is more content coming your way and, you know, uh, keep watching for good updates on nice fragrance houses coming soon as well. So, on that note, my name is Rodney. Take care. Bye now.